Hey everyone, my name is Zoran Sahar and welcome to Urban Asian. I have one of the most versatile actors in the film industry, of course, uh, Indranil Sen. Gupta, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Zoran. Uh, can I call and you Zoran? Zoran is good? Zoran sounds great. Sounds fantastic. Yeah, yes. All right, all right. <laughs> uh, Indranil, you have a film coming up on Z5 Global, of course, Hatia Puri. And, uh, and I've obviously watched the trailer. It, it kind of premieres very, very soon. Um, tell me a little bit about this film. Uh, so... Uh... It's called Hatya Puri. It's, uh, yeah. it's the story of this iconic uh, Bengali detective, uh, Peluda, that was written by Satyajit Ray. And it has been explored uh, in the past also. Satyajit Ray himself made two films out of that. It's a series of stories of this character's detective uh, escapades. Right? So, sure. uh, yeah, so it has a lot of stories out of which uh, Satyajit Ray himself had filmed two stories. And then his son, Sandeep Ray, continued to make quite a few more. So Satyajit Ray's uh, Peluda used to be uh, the great Shomitra Chatterjee, who is not with us right. anymore. And uh, then uh, Sandeep Ray's Peluda was Sabde Sanchi Chakraborty, who uh, till very recent time was actually playing Peluda. Then now he decided that he is too old to play that. And then he uh, he retired from playing Peluda. Right. So fortunately, I am uh, Sandeep Ray's uh, new Peluda. I have just run one film, uh, which, as you know, is a Kapuri. So that is the right. background of uh, Peluda stories and Peluda movies. Yeah. Right now, Indranil, you've been a part of a bunch of various different films on OTT platforms, whether it was Chod Nikal Ke Bhaga, whether it was Adhanak. You were also in the fame game and many other films over the last few years on the big screen as well. Um, when you choose a script, is it a bit of a conscious decision based on the times that we live in? Is it is it a kind of a feel in the moment? Uh, are you kind of also looking at the kind of filmmaker? Uh, what kind of motivates you? What sort of inspires you as an actor to choose the script that you do? Yeah, basically, it's a combination of a lot of things. At times, one thing more important than the other. So as an actor, the first thing that appeals to me is definitely the, the script, the story of the film and the role that I have to portray uh, it uh, doesn't necessarily mean, I mean, at this age, it, it doesn't necessarily mean there was a time when I would look at a look at an offer and check whether I was the protagonist or not. But I guess for, for the last many few, many years, uh, I have gotten over that. And now I yeah. look at a role as if uh, to check uh, what does the character have to do in the film and in context of the entire story. If that character is making an impact uh, in the story, mm -hmm. even if the length of the role is not that much. I happily accept it. And also it could challenge me as an actor. If I if I think, oh, this could be a challenging role to play, then I definitely uh, look forward to doing that. After that, of course, you consider oh, who is the director uh, because I am an absolutely director's actor and I, uh, I, I really like it when I have a very competent director to direct me because then I feel comfortable. I feel that I'm in safe hands. And at sure. times a director is able to put you uh, to a level uh, which you are even you are unaware of yourself. Like at times you, there are there is you have a potential which doesn't which can only be tapped by someone who is going to push you to that level. So that's why I think director is a very important person. I, I really look uh, when when an, when an offer comes uh, to me, I really see who's the director. Then of course so, there is a producer. Then there is a platform like for us at Puri, it's Z5 Global. You know what a big platform it is. You know the reach. So. Yeah. Yes, yes, you, you feel good when, when some big uh, platform is associated with, uh, with your project and you know that it will reach out to the audience completely. So, yeah, there are many factors. And then there are commercials. And then, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, you mentioned kind of a challenge as an actor that you love and also the impact that sort of a filmmaker or an actor kind of looks for when making a, a story. Um, right. And you also did mention that a lot of the work that this film has has been done by Satyajit Ray. And of course, Satyajit Ray requires no introduction to the, the world of films because of his contribution to cinema. Do you um, uh, do you see it in today's day and age, any filmmaker who makes cinema like Satyajit Ray? Because it is a very, very kind of a withdrawn, a different offbeat. Um, do you see any of that nuance coming into uh, filmmaking anymore? Because he was one of a kind and, and his films have reached out on a global platform. Tough one, actually, but uh, I uh, I somehow uh, don't even like the uh, the concept of uh, anyone uh, resembling someone else sure. uh, in, in the in the field of art. I really do not like not even a director, even an actor. If I see an actor acting like someone else, 
or there could be a lot of inspirations i have a lot of inspirations but if someone tells yeah. me oh you oh you you're acting so good it is like even if the biggest of actor you compare me to i will not take it as a compliment because i feel that everyone should have their own um, uh, sense of style and ho- own uh, way of uh, stating things similarly for directors i feel that should be the case so i really don't feel that there is anyone i'm not saying that no one is as good as atheer ray i'm saying right. there are many good directors today but i do not think anyone is doing it like satyajit ray used to do it exactly yeah. i think he had a very uh, unique style of film making which uh, even his son is not doing it like satyajit ray even though he has been brought up in that household he has seen yeah. that but it is practically impossible to absolutely be a copy of someone and which right. is also not good for me. it's not good for you you know you yeah. need to have your own style so sure. i don't think anyone is doing it like satyajit ray but at the same time i'll mention that there are quite a few really good uh, directors right now in the industry the indian film industry also so right. it's not i'm not trying to say that there can never be another satyajit ray there could be someone who could be big, bigger than satyajit ray in the future you never know that sure sure yeah it's true i think i think everyone has their own nuances and every kind of you know identity of their own um yeah. speaking of which and i think i want to move a little long in terms of the projection of cinema nowadays you know we've become the kind of ott consumers and producers of cinema and work so much of it happening on say z5 um and of course its competitors also netflix and amazon and hotstar and uh, so on and so forth of course for quite some time up until the pandemic it was always the big release in a cinema it was always you know eating popcorn and kind of going to the big large screens and of course the commercial value it kind of came along with it um cut right. to the pandemic takes place and everyone's is glued to the TVs because now you can just rewind and fast forward whatever snackable content you're watching or which is binge worthy if i may say so do you right. think based on the change and the shift of how we project the work that we do uh, and right. we, uh, we consume uh do you think that's also a conscious decision being made by filmmakers nowadays as to what kind of stories are being told in a big cinema versus a ott platform See, there are two aspects of it first of all there is a uh, there's a there um, there is commerce associated with it i am right. not the much of i am not too much aware of it so i do not want to comment on it that yeah. uh, if when a movie makes a theatrical release then how long does it need to run and what kind of money can you recover through theater and then yeah. when there is an ott release or if there is a direct ott release i don't even know now if, nowadays i have heard that you can't directly release on ott you you have to have a theatrical release and then it is followed by ott release that's what i have heard yeah. but then if yeah. it is an ott release then what kind of uh, recovery you do i am not aware of the commerce i will not get into it uh, in terms of content being fit for ott and fit for big screen uh see as an actor i would definitely want if i am doing a film which is a feature film i would definitely love it if it comes on big screen because i right. as a viewer i as a viewer i think that experience is unmatchable ott yeah. great but on big screen it's a different different thing altogether I so i definitely yeah. would want i definitely would want a theatrical release followed by the ott release so that it reaches out to more people which has happened in the case of hatya puri and i'm absolutely happy about that uh but i feel today uh, films are uh, the content is being made in such a way that some contents are made where it will make sure the viewers go and watch it on big screen like a film like pathan comes you do yeah. not wait for it you do not i haven't watched it yet not even on ott yet <laughs> but yeah but, but i will watch it uh, so um, but people do not wait for its ott release you will go and watch right. it right Like, you'll go and watch it on the big screen or right now uh, fast the one of the far last edition of the fast series came out fast and furious series fast furious you're not waiting for ha huh, so you're not waiting for it to release on ott you'll mm-hmm. go and watch mm-hmm. it because you want that experience you want avatar right. to be on big screen so i i think uh, movies also now uh, uh, define their medium and right. uh, and yes after the pandemic it has been a great shift and whether it is for good or for bad i don't know but uh, Uh, definitely for us actors it has i think the avenues have really opened up i think uh, since the pandemic since the ott is being explored so much there is so much work for actors there is so much True. content being made and uh, yeah. we are in a good spot i feel we are in a good spot i do not know about the business aspect of it yeah well as long as actors are in a good spot everything else nothing else matters <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and and lastly i want to ask you indreel um yeah you know for quite some time of course like you also you know briefly touched upon it like say for example a pathan you'd want to watch it in a cinema because of the power of a superstar like shahrukh khan because of a power of a, also the scale I mean, also the scale correct correct mounted in such a way yeah yeah the, yeah the anticipation the time vrf all that stuff but yeah. 
Do you think now a, a platform like OTT, like a medium like OTT has kind of in a certain sense, put everyone in a same wavelength in terms of equality of it doesn't matter if you're a star, as long as you're a good actor, it's the content that speaks and not much of the star that speaks. Because in cinema, essentially for th th there have been moments in films in the past for quite some time where the star runs the film, where the star, you'll go watch the star, not just the story, essentially. Right. But right. on OTT platforms, uh, the narrative is such that I think you are so concerned and so excited about the content. I mean, of course, good acting, of course, matters, but 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 the content drives the you know even if it's a big star playing that. Uh, what's your take on that? Well, I can only have I can only have a personal opinion about it. I can't uh, yeah. speak for others. Uh, sure. So content, I feel content is always the king. I think I think no actor is above the content, and that is how it should be. Uh, right. uh, so OTT has definitely uh, given chance to a lot of actors who are not so-called essentially stars, but who are sure. great actors and those yeah. contents also working. But uh, unfortunately, I feel even today, if, if you, if any filmmaker wants to invest a huge amount of money in a project yeah. and, and make it a really big project in terms of the canvas of the project, then filmmaker, uh, filmmaker would still want a very big star who can draw people to the theaters or who can give an opening, uh, yeah. which is, I think we are, it's still, I mean, I don't know. If I was a star, I would have thought in a different way. I, if I was that big a star, but yeah. uh, otherwise I feel it's a little unfortunate because there are a lot, many actors who are doing great work and they're doing superb, uh, superb acting, superb performances. Their, their, their products are doing really well, but yeah, when it's it's in the big game, filmmaker is not immediately thinking of that person, which is which is unfortunate. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Well, you're a star in your own right, Indranil, and I wish you all the best for Hatyapur, um, Hatyapuri, sorry, and and may you have many more successes and lots more work coming for you, and wish you all the best. Thank you for talking to me. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank Cheers. You. Have a good one. Take care. You too.